Now it's time for Dynamic Duos, presented by NFL Sunday Ticket on YouTube TV. Field Jates, I'm going to take your question first. All right, so I'm guessing that we're going to nominate Bryce Young and Deontay Johnson. Ooh, it is not oh. that. Bryce Young got benched, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to have Andy <laughs> Dalton out there. Hopefully Andy Dalton and Deontay Johnson is a dynamic duo we can talk about We next. can dive into that a little bit more in just a like bit. Uh, obviously, joke by me, one. but uh, yeah, geez. Uh, we can talk about actual dynamic duos right yeah. now. W was there a better dynamic duo than DK Metcalf and Jackson Smith and Jigba in week two? Let's look at what they did here. Jackson Smith and Jigba, 16 targets. 16! 12 for 117, 23.7 fantasy points. DK, 18 targets, 13 for 158 and a touchdown. These guys absolutely crushed it to a tune of 52.6 fantasy points combined. Unbelievable, and I think this is a little bit more indicative of what we were thinking the Seahawks passing game was going to be. Not that Tyler Lockett isn't still a really good player, but we were expecting DK to keep doing DK things and JSN to take a step forward here in the Seahawks offense. Stefania, my big question for you. Is there a duo that you trust more than JSN or DK Metcalf moving forward? Do you think this is something that is sustainable for the, obviously not 16 and 18 targets. We're not suggesting that that's going to happen. But do you think that this workload is sustainable for the rest of the season for these two? Well, I think the workload is sustainable. I actually like Jackson Smith and Jigba. I talked about him in the preseason. I kind of think by the end of this year, he overtakes DK Metcalf because I think he's got that upside, but he's also, I think, better for the consistency. As I look at these other groups, I don't know if there's any one duo. First of all, the George Kittle and Debo Samuel, that's out the door because we don't have Debo Samuel healthy anymore. Yeah. Um, I did like the use of Trey McBride and we saw Marvin Harrison Jr. get unlocked. So okay. to me, that might be the closest one. Devontae Adams and Brock Bowers, I don't believe in the Vegas consistency enough to have both of them be effective. I love Brock Bowers. But I think the Marvin, Marvin Harrison Jr. and Trey McBride Two best pass catchers on that team. I think that has the potential to be competitive. I think Amon Ross St. Brown and Jamison Williams, if you believe in JMO, could potentially be on this list as well. But feel how you feel about these Seahawks pass? Yeah, they could introduce themselves. I think the Seahawks are in the running. Some other candidates include when Tua's healthy, Jalen Waddell and Tyree Kill. Obviously, those guys are both so talented and so accomplished. Beyond that, if things get right for the Bengals offense, Jamar Chase and T. Higgins, always in this conversation, right? Move a little bit further down. Nico Collins and Stephon Diggs in Houston could also be in this conversation. If you believe a resurgence for Travis Kelsey is in play, Travis Kelsey and Rasheed Rice, although right now I don't think that's exactly in the offing. So a couple of others that do uh, kind of have me a little bit intrigued right now would be Marvin Harrison Jr. and Trey McBride. If yep. McBride continues, yep, what we saw this past week. And then, you know, maybe if the two Bears veteran wide receivers get humming. So there are a handful of different ones here for sure. Uh, but Seattle, man, the way that those two guys played this past week, pretty darn impressive. We may have robbed DK of a touchdown. I think he was the one that found the end zone this week. He did, he week. did, yes. Oh. That being said, yeah. I can remember it was the, the blown coverage here. But, uh, God, these guys were awesome this past week. Yeah, it's going to be tough to keep either one of them. I mean, obviously, DK was already a starter. But I think JSN, after this big week, has worked his way up in, yeah. into he, – he should probably be in your starting lineup, at least a flex consideration for you moving forward. It's tough with all of the things going on around the NFL right now. I mean, you mentioned it. We wanted to have George Kittle and Debo on here, Stefania. I don't believe that we can just put Brandon Ayuk into this conversation yet. You know, I, obviously, Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua would have been on this list had yeah. they both been healthy. healthy. So it's – it's yeah, a tough even one. Some here. of the ones Field mentioned, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen in Miami. So it's really hard to know what we're going to do with those two receivers. I'm interested. So Skylar Thompson is going to take over for this week. But Field, uh, right before, unfortunately, the unfortunate incident in the Bahamas, you were pining over a guy that had a Tyler Huntley jersey, <laughs> all, a Pro Bowl Tyler Huntley jersey. <laughs> Sweet jersey. Yeah. And he, I was told, came into the uh, Miami Dolphins. Maybe someone that you want to think about for these uh, pass catchers moving forward. Yeah, I mean, he was signed yesterday. Yesterday, um, we just don't know how long Tua is going to be out, right? Yeah. It could be a it could be one game, right? I mean, it's Fanya will tell you until the cows come home. Concussions are nonlinear. It might be don't that know. he misses one game and he's back. Uh, Mike McDaniel has already said it's not likely to happen in week three. Um, it also could be a lot longer than one game. And based off what we've seen so far from Skylar Thompson, uh, there's reason to believe that the hook could be quick there in Miami. Now, I thought it was kind of interesting that they released Mike White this preseason. Uh, given like the relative lack of confidence you would think they have in Skylar Thompson since they've already signed somebody else. Somebody else, <laughs> um, yeah. 
But yeah, it's uh, Snoop Huntley. Uh, he's a fun player to watch. I'm not sure that he'd be the guy that would unlock the value of Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle like Tua often does. Tua is a player that certainly draws a lot of different uh, analyses because of how he can be an up and down player by nature. Uh, but you can say this as far as legitimate options that Miami has, nobody is anywhere close to what Tua has been under Mike McDaniel for what it means for both Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle in fantasy football. Yeah, hopefully we get Tua back or he makes a decision that he is very excited with uh, and, and figures out what he's going to do with his health moving forward. Yep. All right, that was dynamic. Timeline, duos. by the way. He'll do it whenever he feels like. Yeah, absolutely. No timeline on that. So yep. uh, that was Dynamic Duos presented by NFL Sunday Ticket on YouTube TV. NFL Sunday Ticket and YouTube TV are a perfect pairing for watching NFL games on Sunday.